Hey guys, welcome. So today we're having a look at the new trailer for Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, the new DLC coming next year, I think. Now, I'm a big fan of the game. It definitely had its issues when it was first released. Very buggy. The visuals the visuals weren't quite right. Uh, NPCs were acting all weird. The, the graphics, things were really messy for, the, for a long time. But uh, CD Projekt Red has been working on it nonstop ever since. And yeah, as... as very good now. It looks amazing. I got the PS5, so it looks incredible on that. But yeah, the game was definitely released too early, so now they're making uh, a lot of new content for us to keep us engaged and hopefully get the fans to come back and, and try the game out. Again, I've not played it for a little while, but I'm, I'm keen to dive into it, especially if the new DLC is is good. So without further ado, let's just dive into the trailer. Three, two, one, go. We all say that, don't we, us YouTubers? Without further ado... Repeat after me. Captured on PC. I, v, do solemnly swear. I, V, do solemnly swear. That I shall faithfully serve the new United States of America. Wow. That I shall faithfully serve the new United States of America. Cool. Look at this, on man. On behalf of all Americans, I thank you for your service. You know, taking that oath. Bad idea. Oh, Keanu's back. So I still got Johnny in this. Phantom Liberty 2023. Yeah, next year. Don't know when. Okay, that looks cool. So it's captured on PC. So obviously it looked pretty good, but I'm assuming this is going to be really for the next gen consoles i mean I, I can imagine it's going to look incredible on the xbox and the ps5 when it comes out I mean, the, the game definitely was released too early and like i mentioned it looks shit initially but all the upgrades especially the the ps5 version of the game is incredible but i really like all the updates that have been given us like you can now buy apartments as well which i think is pretty cool but like i said i haven't played it for a long time and i've actually i'm actually considering starting again from scratch and and, and playing it as it was meant to be because I did play it back in the day when it was buggy as hell so my experience wasn't the greatest so maybe uh, starting again and just seeing the game at its full potential how, how it was meant to be will be the, the better experience and that DLC does look pretty cool I mean yeah I'm, I'm hoping that the fans have kind of forgiven CD Projekt Red for the premature release of this game I mean I know there's a lot of things behind the scenes like uh, the people who finance it they the business side of things they're the ones that want to push these games out with a, a certain time window so all the developers are put to the crunch and we get an inferior product and it's like don't worry there's going to be a day one patch it's happening too frequently to be honest and uh cyberpunk 2077 was just the, the linchpin for all this shit Anyway, the DLC looks good. Let me know down below if you intend on getting it. Are you enjoying the game? Have you played it at all? Is this going to be what turns you on to it? Let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.